Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. If you've been watching my videos, I would go, like you to go ahead and share the page, like the page, so more people can get the uh, information regarding diabetes. Today, we're going to talk about environmental factors or triggers that affect diabetes. Oftentimes, we talk about eating food, autoimmune disease, and so forth, but there are a lot of environmental factors that influence how your insulin signals their cells. So it's very important to understand these chemical factors that can severely impact not just the pancreas and diabetes, but other health conditions. So let's go into it. Environmental triggers that affect diabetes or insulin, right? How the insulin uh, is signaled. So there are many different types of things, right? Plastics, you have air pollution, pesticides, carpet glue, cigarette smoke, shower curtains, electronic wires, co uh, cosmetics, fire retardants, dry cleaning, nonstick pans, water from PVC pipes, and foods, right? So what is wrong with all these types of items? All of them are filled with chemicals, right? So when we look at air pollution, we're looking at PCBs, Plastic is bisphenol A or BPA, right? Pesticide, it can be arsenic. Uh, phthal phthalates from carpet glue. Benzene from smoke. Formaldehyde. Electrical wires. People don't realize that electrical wires have something called polyvinyl chloride, right? Which can be uh, endocrine disruptors. Cosmetics have a lot of parabens in them. Fire retardants. A lot of fire retardants are being used. Mattresses, right? Things they don't want, thing, uh, furnitures. They don't want things to burn. So, but they use this coating of tetrabromo bisphenol A, right? Dry cleaning. When you use a lot of dry cleaning products, that dry cleaning, um, they don't realize that can irritate the skin, can absorb through the skin, and it can affect insulin signaling. Non-stick pans. This is an important topic. When people cook, they don't understand what they're cooking with. Non-stick pans have chemicals coated on it, right? So it doesn't stick. And what it does is it leaches into the food, right? If it leaches into food and you keep consuming it, over time, it affects how your insulin is going to affect uh, your cells or you have how your pancreas will signal um, the release of cell, uh, insulin. So it's very important to understand you should not use nonstick pans, but you should not uh, use plastic bottles either because plastics have BPA in them, right? You should be using either a good high quality stainless steel or a glass bottle to carry water, etc. Don't heat things in the microwave in plastic tubs, right? Don't do it. Plastic bags, throw your vegetables in a plastic bag into the microwave and you're basically infusing your veggies which is supposed to be good for you with BPA. Nonstick pans. Convenience, yes, but is it going to be detrimental to your health over the long run? Absolutely. Water from PVC pipes, right? They are using, rather than copper pipes, right, or these the, the metal pipes in, in plumbing, they're actually using plastics, right? And they're using it for hot water and cold water. Imagine hot water running through these uh, plastic uh, rubber uh, tubings uh, to deliver water to, uh, in, in the house, right? You're leaching chemicals into the water. Don't do it. It already has stuff in there, like chlorine. Food, glyphosates. Right? Herbicides, pesticides, glyphosates, Roundup. All these things are endocrine disruptors. Now, listen, it's very difficult to avoid all of the chemicals, right? But you have to do the best you can. And you know the obvious stuff. I'm telling you that these are the things that are going to impact how your insulin signals your cells, right? Insulin signaling disruption all of these chemicals right found in these products will increase your risk for diabetes so whenever you can you want to avoid right it's it's not possible to avoid everything right 
secondhand smoke, right? You might have something in plastic temporarily. You might get a little BPA, right? And you might have, you might need dry cleaning, but whenever possible, try not to use it, right? Foods, organic when possible. It's so important, right? To reduce your chemical and environmental load on your body. Our body is inundated with chemicals, right? Electronic waves from Wi-Fi, cell phones, um, uh, cell phone towers, right? We're just inundated with all these different things in our body and our body, it needs to adapt to it. We're not used to having all these chemicals in our body. That's why people are sicker than ever, right? You, we're supposed to get healthier over time, right? You should have better technology, better food and all this stuff. But in actuality, the convenience of things, convenience of packaging and foods makes it so easy for these chemicals to get into our system. So whenever possible, avoid these chemicals, right? Take a good look. Take a really good look at this because you want to avoid these things whenever possible, okay? My name is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.